So hi Arjun, it's great to connect again. We have met at the Harvard South Asia Institute on our workshop at IIT Delhi in February. Right. And since then we've been having uh, frequent interactions connected with the project. Yeah. So uh, we just wanted to understand from you a couple of things with respect to your uh, social entrepreneurial venture, yeah. which is Smart Jewels. Yeah. If you could share what your vision for Smart Jewels is and the relevance of that venture uh, in the larger ecosystem of uh, India's environment and needs and problems. Uh, thank you. Uh, we've had really good support from the from the Harvard ACI, uh, and this program is great. So really happy to be a part of it. We started Smart Jewels uh, in December 2014 uh, with the vision to eliminate the wasted energy uh, that India's buildings and factories consume. Uh, what what I wrote a paper in 2008, which outlined that India can eliminate its energy poverty without needing to build a single new power plant which was a big idea that stuck in my head like we can just reduce the amount of energy we waste and we don't need to build any more power plants burn any more coal if we just use more efficiently so that's the idea with which the company was born to help organizations do it because this is a specific discipline of energy management which is not really a discipline uh, a professional discipline in most indian companies and organizations so we started Smart Jewels with this uh, mission and uh, you know started focusing on uh, commercial buildings like hospitals and hotels to start with and we've had some good initial success. So uh, we're looking to scale, uh, we're already scaling in that area and uh, also grow our offerings for other industries. Right. So that's where we're at. Right. right. What do you think would be the typical challenges that you feel this sector is facing where Smart Jewels would play a role? And what are the typical kind of outcomes that you've been able to uh, see over the last two years since Smart Jewels came into being? Right. Yeah, it's actually uh, the challenges that people face and why energy is wasted. Uh, there are a number of them. Some of them are related to technology. Uh, we don't have affordable automation systems in India. We are relying on Honeywell, Schneider, all these companies that have built technology in the 1990s for developed countries that are now exporting their products here. So only very few people with deep pockets and you know very high profile buildings can afford these automation systems. So technology wise we have need. Number two is uh, financing. A uh, lot of times a hospital would like to buy an MRI machine rather than invest in a more efficient machine. So uh, you know a lot of times there's that tension between should I really invest in energy efficiency which is the case world over not only in India. And then there's operational expertise uh, where I believe the, we can do a lot better as a country overall. Maintenance and operation practices uh, are not very state of the art uh, and a lot of energy is wasted in operations. So our business model combines all three of these. Uh, we, we, we advance the technology that a particular facility has. We give them a fully financed uh, energy project where they don't have to invest anything up front. They, we only take a share of the savings that we deliver. And we also work on the operation side. So we have our own manpower that works in the buildings as well as uh, we do a extensive training of the operators. So it's a whole comprehensive project that we do in the facility. The kinds of results we have seen is that we've been able to reduce energy bills by up to 30%. In fact, last month we delivered 35% savings for a hospital, major hospital in Delhi. And uh, you know, for the next few hospitals, we expect the results to be very similar. So it's a very meaningful impact um, in terms of uh, you know uh, I'll give you some rupee numbers. This hospital, the first project that we took up, has saved more than 25 lakhs wow. in a year net yeah. after paying us our share of the savings. Right. And they didn't have to invest even a single rupee up front or do any te technical work or any other kind of. Work. Right. And you know they're reaping the benefit financially and as well as uh, environmentally. Uh, so they can proudly say that. They're an energy efficient hospital and more profitable as well. Right. So, do you think there has been a change in their perspective to the way they look at energy management, energy savings, and the financial benefit thereof? Uh, earlier, energy saving was not really on their agenda at all, uh, to be honest. Uh, they, from their side, they thought they were doing pretty well. Uh, but as I said, there are a number of issues where, where they, they, they're not able to advance the envelope. Uh, with us, obviously, they've seen an impact on the bottom line, so they're all uh, actually they were surprised at how well we've been able to do. We assured them of 10% savings, right. 
we have given them up to 35 high. So uh, they are also surprised by how good the results have been and uh, you know very happy with that. So uh, in fact they have another new hospital coming up where they want to also inculcate some efficient practices from the beginning. So uh, yeah I would say that there is a shift in mind amongst the top, top management about what the value of energy efficiency is. I, I remember your participation at the capacity building workshop that we had yeah. as a part of Harvard SAI and the Tata Trust workshop at IIT Delhi. Uh, would you like to share something about how that workshop was relevant uh, to the larger cause of encouraging science and technology based social entrepreneurial ventures? Well, I don't know where to start. That, uh, I really enjoyed the workshop. I think uh, the best thing was the quality of people in the room and the diversity of perspectives, both of them. So I think the best way to answer it is to pick on particular things that have helped me since then. There was a gentleman there who you guys had invited, Mr. Bowney, uh, who has expertise in hardware, electronics. Uh, he spoke about his experiences in organization and I found him really helpful and after that I reached out to him and consulted him for our hardware development efforts. So that speaks to the quality. Another gentleman there, Mr. Varun Abhirbal. Uh, who was sharing his story about aspiring minds. Yes. Uh, I was able to seek out his exp his opinions on the data piece because that's another part of our uh, business. Then uh, Professor Khanna himself with the very good experience in fundraising and, and strategy and yourself on, on how to approach corporates and strategy and uh, Professor Rao at IIT who's been very helpful in making introductions, getting student interns into our company I mean, it's the relationships that we formed in a few days right. uh, that I think have been the highest value right. and also hearing from some of the entrepreneurs there about how they were able to scale their ideas. Right. Uh, you know, because we all, the organizations there were mostly the starting phase and hearing about other speakers, what have been, they've been able to scale was very helpful. Right. So, so it was good to have that. So you think this kind of uh, training and capacity building for the science and tech based social entrepreneurs is something that would help budding entrepreneurs like yourself uh, in scaling up and getting the depth and the breadth of the field by developing kind of networks with these people who are experts in their field. You think some such well, efforts would I, be helpful? I think so. I, I absolutely think so. I think what we did at this workshop, it should be intensi even intensified. Right. So for example, from my side I had to take a lot of initiative to reach out to a lot of these people. Right. Of course, there were a lot of asks like who would you like to meet, that what kind of introduction can we make. I think the value can be even intensified, right? We did a three day program workshop, uh, maybe do more even because we really need, you know, the social entrepreneurs, budding entrepreneurs need the help right. that you guys are able to provide right. and the perspective that you're able to provide. Right. So certainly I think uh, extremely valuable and, and should be bolstered. Right. Right. You also got shortlisted and finally got awarded the grant you two among the 20 entrepreneurial ventures which applied for it. Yeah. So you received a grant from the mm -hmm. project mm -hmm. uh, which was a social innovation grant and trying to do something which is different in your existing entrepreneurship venture and uh, make a difference more in terms of scale, scope and outputs and outcomes. Right. So would like to share something about how that grant helped you and Absolutely. what has been the outcome of it? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so before we participated in this program, we were mainly uh, using technology that was already existing in the market, like more efficient machines, LED lighting, high efficiency fans, better motors, variable speed operations, technologies that existed in the market, combining them with our innovative business model of pay as you say. That was our company. Now that model is slightly hard to scale. Right, because it requires a lot of months of our effort to study one building to be able to come up with the laundry list of things they need to do right. to be able to save energy. So very effective, uh, but in terms of scalability, it's a little challenging. Mm -hmm. You keep doing that if you want to do thousands of buildings, you can do hundreds without a problem. But thousands becomes difficult. So with this grant, what we thought was let us try to embed the energy expertise that we have right. in and marry that with the technology problem that I mentioned about automation. Yes. So what about the energy, if we can embed our energy intelligence into low cost automation systems made in India that are industrial grade, then that would be something that is immensely scalable. Not only for our existing stock of buildings, but also for all the new buildings that are coming. Yes. 
So, uh, you know, keep the you know, back of our mind that uh, most of the Indian buildings that will exist in 20 years are not built yet. In fact, we are, we are projected to double our building stock in the next 15 years. So, now we have a solution not only for existing buildings but also for new buildings. And we have a system which allows us to scale uh, much easier and quicker. Uh, and, and drive the savings that we, which is our ultimate goal. So, what we've been able to do as a result of this grant in a few months is that we've made the we made intelligent IoT hardware, you know, Internet of Things, embedded systems. Uh, we've been able to design and and produce them and test them in the field. Now, a lot of people are not able to test any equipment in a commercial setting, so we were able to test it, make it working fine. And also able to improve our software end so that all the data that are coming from whatever is happening in a building we know all the time. The data is being logged, it is being analyzed, and control decisions are being made on how to optimize the systems. Right. So we are able to make proudly, I can say, with the help of Tata uh, Trust and Harvard SCI, we were able to make a building management system, an intelligent building management system, right here in India. And I don't know many efforts before us that have been able to achieve this milestone right. and you know uh, a lot of that was because of the support so very very grateful for that. Good. So it's the been, whole country can be proud. Yes, no, it's been great. Uh, we've had an opportunity to work with a lot of uh, budding social entrepreneurs like yourself with uh, very interesting and insightful solutions for India as an emerging economy. So great to have you with us for this project and uh, we look forward to having you with us uh, for the January event where we'll be showcasing your work and many others like yours uh, at the summit event of this project. Looking forward so, to that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.